UPDF just launched a bunch of new features and I think they're pretty good. Now check out their key features that they have as of now. And one of the cool things about UPDF is that you can use them across all platforms with just one license. So that means if you're using Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android, well, you can use your PDFs inside of those platforms. So that's pretty cool, right? Now let's go check out these features right now. It's pretty cool that we're getting all these new features from UPDF. And if you haven't bought it, I do recommend that you check it out. I'll be leaving a link in the description with a 50% off discount. So don't miss out on it. Now, let's go check out UPDF. So we're going to talk about the new features that they have. So let me go ahead and open up this document just for testing purposes. And they have several things available. And one of the coolest features are two that I'm going to mention. One is the reorganization and modification of the PDF. So we can reorganize pages, add in new pages and do a whole lot with it. And the other one is the OCR aside from other ones, updates that we're going to talk about. So let's get started with the organization. So let's go into the organize page section and you can see that we have eight pages on this PDF and we can just go ahead and move them around to reorganize them, which I think is pretty cool because it's super easy to use. And that's my favorite feature about UPDF. Everything is just so easy to use. Now we can go ahead and insert a PDF if we like. So for example, a blank page or from a file. So in this case, I'll add from a file and I'll add this W88 form, which is a tax form. And like I said, just for testing purposes, and I've added it right here. I can go ahead and add it at the end if I like. I can go ahead and replace one of these. For example, if I want to replace number four, and I just go ahead and replace it again with a different PDF. I'll select the same one just for testing purposes. We can also extract, split, and we can rotate them counterclockwise or clockwise. And it's just super intuitive and easy to use for the page editor. Now, my next feature that I really like a lot is the OCR page system. Now, right here, we have a PDF that we can edit. So that's not fun, right? Let me create a brand new one. Let me open up a tab and let me go ahead and start a new blank one. There we go. Create a blank page. We'll name it whatever, untitled. And I'm going to drop in an image because we're going to use the OCR so it reads it. So this is just an example of what you could do. So let me go ahead and add an image here. Let me find this right here. It's a screenshot of a PDF. OK, so this is a screenshot. OK, that's an image. Now, let's just say that you have a PDF that has images and text and you want to export this into another file format, but you want to have a way to edit it. So that's what we're going to do right now. So in this page, we're going to go into the reader. We're going to go into export PDF and we have all these available options. Now, check how cool this, uh, this is. OK, so I'm going to export it in docx, which is Word. And I'm going to enable text recognition settings. So like I said, if it's a PDF that's mixed with letters that you can do type in and some images that have text on it, well, this can convert it into text. So right now we're going to use this image as an example to convert it. You can use it, select the language if you like. In this case, automatic will auto detect it. But if you have having trouble, you can select any of the languages available here. So let's go ahead and export this into my desktop. And it's going to do its magic and it's done. So let's open up this. It's a doc file. Remember, here we go. And we're able to edit this section. See how that cool it is. So it grabbed the image. It used the OCR to let me delete this so we can edit this. So remember, this is an image and we're able to convert it with OCR. So that is great with different type of situations. Now, let's talk about other features that UPDF has. Let's go jump into a this one, the one I have. OK, now another cool feature that they have is that now we can work with the background and also footer and header settings. Let's go into the settings for page tools. And in page tools, we have three main settings, which is watermark. If you want to watermark this, we can go ahead and add text, image or a PDF. I'll just do a test image. I'll go ahead and select something from here and I'll just grab this for testing purposes, which is an image. Now that looks kind of crazy, but we can reduce the ratio. There we go. Make it smaller. And we'll add some opacity. There we go. It's kind of blended inside of there. I'll, I'll raise it up a bit, the opacity. Just so you kind of get an idea. Obviously, you can add your own logos or do something with it. And again, you can add another PDF or some text in it. Okay. So, for example, for text, I can just say um, this is just for testing. Okay. There we go. We're going to add it. There we go. For testing, it's bigger. And again, we can reduce the opacity so it's not so bright. Okay. So that's for the Let's go ahead and save it for the watermark. But what about background? Yes, we can also work with background, make things a little bit more interesting. Instead of having a blank background in the back, we can go change the color for this and we can go a little bit like yellowish, 
greenish, just whatever you like, okay? Kind of go like pinkish, or you can add an image or a PDF. I'll go ahead and cancel this one. There's also the header and footer. We can add header and footer settings now. For example, you can select the layout. In this case, that's the top layout, and I'll say test for video. You can see it's added here on the top. Here we go, video. And for the footer, again, test for video. See how I'm typing in, and it shows on the bottom. Now, be aware that we can use the margins if we need to move it. So for example, I'll lower this one if in case it's, it's too low or too high. We can just play with this, bring it all the way to the left, to the corner, wherever you want, and you can use the margins for that. You can select the font size and work with anything here with that. So that's pretty cool, right? Now, other features, let's go ahead and save this. Other features that are new in UPDF is the slider show. So for example, if you wanna make a presentation, you can now open it in UPDF and do a slideshow. So now you have it, here you go, next slide, next slide. And like I said, it could be something really interesting. In this case, we're just viewing the document, but if it's a nice PDF with a presentation, well, you're gonna be able to appreciate this in a nice form. And you can use your keyboard to switch around the slides here, okay? You can use it, use presentation, see that there? Use slideshow, and we're good to go. Now there's more features, like for example, fill out forms. In this case, I'll just use this one as an excellent example. Here's a form, I can just click on the space and I can go ahead and type the information. So in this case, I'll type more. You can see how easy it is to fill out these sections because we have this feature now. Now, another great feature that UPDF has is compression. So we can compress PDFs, especially if they are big PDFs. So that means that we can save on file size and it's easier to share a PDF or just save some file size in, for your storage. Now, to do this, I'm gonna open up this PDF that I have right here. And it's just a business proposal and I've even added an image to it right here to make it a bigger file size. Now, to access the compression, we're gonna go into this save icon right here. We're gonna click on it and there's this option, reduce file size. So let's go ahead and select it. And we have four options, which is maximum, high, medium, and low compression. Now, the original file size is 25.2 megabytes as of now. So let's go into maximum compress. Let's go ahead and select it. And it's gonna to start to do its magic and compress this PDF. So there we go, it started compressing and voila, it's now 2.1, 2.10 megabytes. So that's a huge difference for compression. So imagine from going to 25.2 to 2.1. That's a big difference and now it's super easy to share. Maybe sometimes, for example, Gmail doesn't allow file sizes that are bigger than 25 megabytes. So this is a really great tool to have. Now, one of the last features that I wanna show you is UPDF Cloud. You can now upload files and obviously view them in other devices. So let me go ahead and show you that. Let's go open this in a new tab. And there's a section, you can see Recents, and there's one that says UCloud. When I open this, we can go ahead and upload them here and we can go ahead and view them and edit them if I like. For example, if I wanna open this one, rename it, download, delete it, or start this file, it's possible. I'll just click on it, and that was just brought in from the cloud. Now, if I wanna upload a file from here, I can go ahead and click on Upload. I'll select another one, for example, California one. Go ahead and open this, and now it's uploading to the cloud. It's great that we get all these features with UPDF, including the ones that we've seen previously in my past video, which I'll leave the link in the description, where I show you how to edit and view and do everything that you need to do with UPDF. One of my best uh, recommendations about UPDF, which I like the most, is their UI experience, which everything is super easy to use with UPDF. Well, that is a wrap for the new features of UPDF. And if you want to check it out, don't forget that 50% off discount that I'll be leaving the link in the description. So that's a wrap.